America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose... Hey Toy Fans, welcome to episode 4 of Chasing Plastic. Jojo and Hatch here. What's up? We're going to do some trading and a little talking about loyal subjects, as usual. <laughs> We're going to do some trades here though, we got some awesome stuff for each other. I, so, Hatch, what you All got right. for me? We're going to start right. with Hatch here, he's got some goodies Let's for me. Let's start here. I got uh, a, a bundle of goodies here. We're gonna start off with uh, first one. This this comes all the way from uh, the UK. Uh, nice. So uh, I did oh, a, I did a sweet. trade with a guy, and and uh, of course they're not UK release or anything like that. Duke. It's standard release. I never but... got I never got. I wasn't into loyal subjects when the Wave One came out. They've got some cool ones that they didn't have in Wave Two. So I like this. This is awesome. Awesome. Thank you, man. You got that flat top, man. Yeah, yeah it's dude. Pretty it's awesome. Got, man. I, I like it. It's got the bandolier strap going across Heck the grenade yeah. on it. The gun is awesome. Hell yeah. Thank you, my man. All right, I got I got some vintage stuff for you. Ooh, I've got I like uh, I've got a uh, eighty. Let's see here. My friend uh, used to have that. 1977 ah. Star Wars lightsaber flashlight. My buddy used to have that, and I remember swinging that thing around. <laughs> I haven't held one of these in years, man. That is awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. All the stuff's there. The pieces Dude, inside might need to be changed out a little bit. Oh, that's cool. 77, man. It goes back a little ways, so there's a little bit of... Uh... Check that out. That's cool. <laughs> I like how it's almost Darth Vader-esque with the kind yes. of sheathing over the top there like that. That's I actually think cool. that there was one piece that came out. It was like a little bit of a cone-ish yeah. part that came out, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's uh, awesome, man. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Awesome. And then, uh, speaking of Vader, I got a, uh, a bootleg Vader for you. That's wild. Um, <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Very crazy. Oh, that's neat. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> he just don't stop. <laughs> it's a freaking disc in here. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna drive my old lady crazy with this. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, babe. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's gonna be know? mad at me. Yes, I I uh, got some parts. That, I'm uh, bidding on a lot that needs this section of no the Doc Terror, actually, no man. Kidding. Yeah, perfect. The three main figures and a Doc Terror missing this half of his body. Oh, Centurions are my newest thing I'm, I'm, after Sectars are complete. Or Sectars, sorry. Silverhawks. Sectars are <laughs> another whole thing I'm going to start collecting eventually. <laughs> as soon as my Silverhawks collection is done, Centurions is the next step, man. So thank you. You kicked yeah. me off here with a little starter. Awesome. I got... Uh... I always loved being able to do this with this. <laughs> <laughs> Which way are we going? Black Star? Or not Black Star? Uh, uh, Battle Star. Battle, Battle Star, Star yeah. Black, is yeah. it uh, Obion? Yeah. yeah. Bears beat. Very cool. What is it? What, did you ever watch The Office? No. Bears no. beat Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do we got there? What is that? I. You can't remember. Almost mask ask. Like, yeah, that's almost what like I a was... Scott Tracker. To knock off Scott Tracker. No, really. <laughs> no, I know it's some line, but I just Is it Spike with Wiki? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a book in his hand. Back in my day we had to walk to school uphill both ways in the snow. Number one. <laughs> uh got a couple of uh got a couple of um Ah, oh, uh, dude, this is awesome. Little, with, uh, not little people. Um, I, f I got a story Fisher about Price this guy. Figures. I have a story about this guy. Is cool because he looks like a pirate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy, if you look, okay, we'll show you the pirate guy. I like that. <laughs> Shiver me timbers, army matey. But this guy, I was at a uh, the third Sunday flea market in Bloomington. Okay. Bloomington, Peoria. One of the two, Peoria or Bloomington, we, we'll Illinois. Never I think, know. I'm pretty sure it's Bloomington, Illinois. We wouldn't know. Anyway, me and a friend are walking by, and there's this booth with a bunch of junk by little flats and i happen to look down and i see the figure and it struck me as holy shit it's a henry fonda <laughs> or sorry peter fonda peter not fonda, henry fonda yeah. peter fonda easy rider look at that easy totally easy rider. so i bought it i asked the guy how much he's like 50 cents i said i'll give you a dollar he's like looks at me and i said 
Peter Fonda. And he, <laughs> the guy just <laughs> laughed at me. He shook his head, took the dollar. I was like, this is the best thing well, I ever found. Well, you know what you can do? I ended up giving that one to a oh, friend of mine okay, who I'm needed it. Say, for My friend Harlan. Harlan Franklin. Harlan, if you need the pirate, let me know. Because <laughs> um, I this was going to say, awesome. it's also a really good uh, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, he just needs a stash. Yeah, he does need a stash. He needs a stash, but yeah, check that stash. out, man. That is a total Peter Fonda pop out a loon tang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Easy Rider fan all the way, so that's awesome. All right, I also have the Ooh, Christar from Christar, and he's oh, got his he's belt. Got his belt. Oh, yeah. This is the one that had the purple? Yes, yeah. the purple one. Check it out, some Christar action. Love it. I just tried getting on a lot of that, and did I lost out. <laughs> um, Somebody I, got, I got a Build-A-Figure Ah, it's thing. Mantis, isn't it? I have no I'm pretty idea. sure that's the Mantis body piece from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm pretty sure. It looks like her outfit. I got a um, oh. Time Traveler from uh, Micronauts. Micronauts. Oh, Missing yeah. Feet. But, uh, that's all right. I got a Micronauts vehicle. I'm pretty sure I can just sit them in. Okay. <laughs> so then you won't see the missing feet. Awesome. Perfect. And then got I also... Micronauts. Also have a 1981 Remco uh, Sergeant Rock, just a whole bag of weapons. That's cool, because I actually just got missile a bunch of Sergeant launchers, Rock figures. Missile launchers, all kinds That's of stuff. That's awesome. I actually have a nice little grouping of Sergeant Rock figures. I've gotten some from you, yeah. and others for, I've, I've gotten in other collections, and i got a little set of them up on my uh, things. That's cool. I'm missing a couple figures from it, but awesome. Very cool, man. Yeah, oh, there's, yeah. there's probably more than you need there. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, here. Yeah, just put that back in there. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Gotta love Sergeant Rock, man. I mean, they weren't as articulated as G.I. Joe's, but I had one of them when I was a kid, and I loved it. Also, uh... uh Only thing, reason I really loved him is because he looked like he was going to play guitar. His arms, you know, he was ready to oh, rock yeah. out. He had the oh, one arm to hold the gun, but it looked like he was playing guitar. <laughs> Also brought the uh, the loyal subjects oh, yeah. that you you didn't have the lines of the uh, got the Raf uh, turtle oh, yeah. from uh, series one and then got uh, the one of the construction bots from the um, it's, uh, the bulldozer uh, what's his name uh, Crusher. Oh. See, I'm not too good with them. I'm not remember. too good with the names. I don't on remember, them. but th this was That's a awesome. uh, hot topic exclusive. Pew pew so, pew pew. <laughs> but jo uh, JoJo didn't have any of the nope, Transformers or Ninja Turtles for, uh, to to represent the the line. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, man. Awesome. I got some goodies for you. One. I can't contain myself on this because I'm pretty <laughs> sure you still need this. And I'm trying to get it to not make any noise. Oh yes! Oh, I was trying to wedge it so it wouldn't proud. move around. <laughs> oh yes! Awesome, I'm totally man. excited about awesome. this. Awesome! I, oh, I wasn't man. sure. I didn't think you had them yet. No, so I when I was up picking up some loyal subject blind box at a local Walmart, grab this for Hatch because he's got the Lizzie. You need the uh, George Joe, George, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm 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 not I'm I'm, I'm off. <laughs> You're too busy playing. <laughs> totally Very awesome, cool, man. man. Yeah, yes. one of our earlier videos, so cool. he showed off his Lizzie. Well, I had to get him the Ralph, man. Dude, I knew he, I awesome. knew he was. I thought you needed him, so Heck I figured yeah, you'd man. dig that. Yeah, for some reason, I, I I found them whenever they were whenever they first came out, and uh, they had they they kind of disappeared in the stores. Um, now I too brought you some stuff to represent the uh, ones that you don't have. Very good. Got very you an good. Attack on Titan. Oh, very awesome. I forgot the cards and the weapons. I was in a hurry. That's all right. That's all right, man. But I will bring. Them to you. Nice. Got you a uh, Super Saiyan Gohan and a Pink Ranger. Oh, pink. Yeah, yes. pink. I figured you, you're the pink kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, of course. And she's a hottie. So. And Kim, is that what it is? Uh, Kimberly, yeah. Kimberly. Kimberly was the pink yeah, I don't know if that's actually the Kimberly. Yeah, because these are based on the classics. So, yeah. Okay. That's All the right. Kimberly version. I, right. I, I, you know what, man? Um, I might get thrashed for saying this, but I never watched. Power Rangers. See, I started watching them, and I wasn't really into it. My little brother, who was like three at the time, was huge into them, so I watched them with him all the time. The first like few seasons in the movie, and I'm, then he kind of got at them right shortly after the movie. I haven't even. I didn't even see the new movie that came out. I haven't either. I kind of want to. I really, really yeah, want to. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm. I'm really curious I'm about Elizabeth about Banks it. as uh, uh, Rita Repulsa. Okay. From okay. the chick from uh, Zack and Mary Make a Porno. She's been in all kinds of stuff. That's my. Favorite, one of my favorites with her in it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I really wanted to check that out because Goldar makes an appearance in it and stuff too, which is really cool to me. Ooh, yeah, you've been saying you wanted one. 
I yes. pulled him. I pulled him last weekend he at the is Hot Topic. rocking, dude. He is like my favorite. He is pretty badass. I almost kept him for myself, but that you wanted him so more than me. Awesome, man. <laughs> dude, that's rocking. Thanks, dude. Hell yeah, brother. And then I got oh, something yeah. else for you, man. Hopefully, you don't have this one yet. No, I don't. Oh, awesome, dude. Hell dude. yeah, man. Awesome. I was banking, hoping you didn't have him yet. Oh, yeah, dude. You you gave the other one, the one we showed in a couple episodes back, uh, the Captain oh, Simeon. Yes. You ended up, then the car on the card, which spun around and stuff. You ended up, didn't you trade that with David Perdue? I, I did trade okay. that because I have Okay, and you said you had loose. a loose one, so that's I why I, was, I saw this online. I was like, oh, I got to get that for him. I was like, hell is, yeah. <laughs> I have been trying I, to get I got to find one. one for myself because I just love this, like, I was playing with him all morning. He just hangs. He on. hangs, man. You can hang him. Doo, 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 doo. And, and and yeah, love Captain it. Simeon and the. Space I was playing monkeys. around with him like this and just <laughs> <laughs> making him swing around. I love it. It's I a cool line. I man. want one of him just because he's a cool. Figure. You would you would really like. There's a there's a an ape, um, that has like all kinds of huge like space gear. Oh, neat. And he's he's huge. I'll send you a photo. Yeah, send me a pick of him. I definitely would um, want to check that out. This is a really cool underrated line. Um, just because that now. You know, it's got ball joints in the shoulders and in the in the hips, uh, or in the yeah. In the, in the I legs. like that because it lets you kind of do more of the primate stances and yeah. stuff with them. Because like I was playing around with them and I had him, <laughs> my old lady laughing this morning because I had him like just playing with his feet and stuff. And I was like, you know, <laughs> in the video, just see had him rolling back on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, just a cool line that you can actually hang them from. From like I've got a wire. Kind of looks like you ever watch Undergrads? Yes. The cartoon. Yes. He looks like was it uh, Nitz or whatever? Not Nitz. The, the, the goofy one. It's the hair. And that, the the eye. one eye. Yeah. Uh, the... the hair and the one eye. But you can hang them from, you know, from from different. All of them have like this kind of feature where you know you can hang them from Very their cool. hands and their hands are long. Uh, Even the feet have like an. Uh, yeah. It looks like you can grip onto yeah, something, man. A little man. bit of a grip there. So awesome fig, man! Thank yeah, you, brother. cool man, cool. Thank you, Hell yeah, I'm glad yeah. you dig that, man. They they were underappreciated here in the states, uh, but uh, let me see what year. Ninety five. Ninety five. Okay. So cool. uh, talking about the same time that uh, that uh, uh, Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah. So that is awesome, man. Thank you. Hey, not a problem, man. I, so I saw it. it. I'm like, I'm banking on it. Hopefully, he doesn't have this one. <laughs> I cool, man. I awesome, I awesome. Did. So cool. Uh, some good awesome, trades man. today, yeah, man. Very heck, awesome yeah, stuff. Heck, yeah, and we Very also awesome. got some stuff that's going on in the loyal subjects group. Yeah, uh, which is really exciting. Uh, we're in the midst right now of uh, day four of the 15 day prototype day. yeah man um, and, and it's, it's been brutal so far <laughs> it really is man it's it's high tension and um it's really smart because people are paying attention to the page 24 hours oh, a day man, man i was checking it every 10 minutes <laughs> and and it's hard because you know um it can happen anywhere and us living out in the country here. Yeah, the Seven um, Eleven one was hard because there's not a Seven Eleven for at least an hour plus any see, direction. See, there was a thirty me. minute drive, and I and I had the kids in the bath, and I almost looked at my wife and said, <laughs> "I'm going to Seven Eleven. I'll be right back." But I knew by the time that I had gotten in my car that somebody would have posted. Oh yeah. And it was like maybe like ten or fifteen minutes later, somebody started posting yeah. pictures. Yeah, yeah. So I was I just, following it and watching it for the first few pictures that came up. I was like, man. So congratulations! Yeah, congrats uh, to the winner on that. I can't remember who the, what the name Mike, was. Mike uh, Flask. Flask. Is that correct? Something yeah. like that. So, I, I think. I, I apologize if I got your name wrong. Uh, but uh, congratulations! Definitely, uh, man. To congratulations to the other two previous yeah, winners as no well, doubt, man. man. That's really exciting. So um, three days down, we got twelve left to go, man. Yeah. I'm prepared yeah. too. I know. I've been rolling around with a box full <laughs> of loyal subjects. I even got a pony in there. I don't even collect ponies, man. I've been going oh, nuts. Let me, see, let me see these ponies because oh, yeah, I the haven't pony. even felt. I haven't even Dude, held a pony. They're durable and cool. By the way, this is our segment, the loyal subjects report, the TLS report. It's a new segment we're doing, so we're gonna pop in on that real quick here. That's pretty awesome. A little man. bit of loyal subjects news for everybody. Plus, I got some blind boxes to open up that I just bought today. <laughs> this is this is pretty cool man this is actually solid yeah definitely man they are pretty solidly constructed man jason bean you were right man these guys yeah. are actually worth kind of seeking out yeah uh, they are pretty cool my, my girls would love these things man so i think i'm going to try and pick some of these up just so they can have a couple 
That's awesome, man. Yeah, they are good, pretty good, cool, man. Good, Definitely. Uh, good pull. Definitely cool. All right, man. I got some GI Joe blind boxes. I bought four out of the numerous ones they had there, and they're all at regular price still. Uh, they had two cases still of, or two, yeah, two cases of the uh, tra not transformers. Uh, I'm looking at the transformer. <laughs> two cases of the uh, Street Fighter there still. And they I was going to say they half got a case of Attack on Titan. I was like, well, I'm going to go with the GI Joes because I'm still looking for that Cobra Sniper, so I'm hoping to pull one. Uh, if not, David Purdue needs extras, and you probably could use some extras too. Yeah, of course. Ooh, what do we got? It's a Major Blood. Major Blood. This guy's cool, man. He was one of my favorites as a kid. I loved his mechanical arm. <laughs> this one's even cooler because he's got good detail to it. It looks pretty wild. Actually, all of them are fantastic. Oh, man. yeah. Oh, definitely. I still need a blowtorch, man. I, uh... You gave me yours. Yeah. Well, but you were so close at finishing. <laughs> yeah, I, all I need is the sniper to have a complete, complete run. You know, run. and that's pretty awesome. So, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm one that if I've got something that somebody needs to complete their set, I'll break up my set just so they. You can did the same theirs. with the Universal Remco Universal Mummy, the three and three quarter inch mummy. Yeah. Ooh, this is the first time I've actually pulled one of these guys. Nice Copperhead, man. I had to buy the one that for my set. That's nice, man. Copperhead. Gerald Elmore, I got a copperhead for you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually he's my he's my Joe representative for uh following me around for this competition. Oh hi open uh, box. <laughs> just because I, I really love him. He comes with two guns. Which yeah, is kinda he's cool. Pretty you cool. Know, he's he's pretty uh loaded. Let's see here. There we go. Come on, sniper. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Oh, don't show me the card, don't show me the card. Oh, I didn't see it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I like the surprise. Beachhead! Beachhead! You need a beachhead? Uh, I gotta beachhead. You gotta be, yeah, you gotta, gotta beachhead. beachhead. I think David might need a beachhead, I don't remember. Son of a beachhead. Son of a beachhead. <laughs> oh, she got right. four, huh? This yeah, is four of them. This is the last one, one here. Right, and you opened it from the bottom, so that means yeah. that you're gonna flip it up for a little bit. I think I know who this is. Beachhead! <laughs> Son of a beachhead! But that's it. That's a cool though, man. I got some GI Joes. You got some, so if anybody needs Yeah, uh, if anybody some... needs some, I'll be posting them up. Definitely, oh, yeah. definitely. Uh -huh. Awesome, awesome. That's all I got. Oh, show off the ones again that since we're doing a little TLS report, show off the ones I just gave you again. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to kind of, you know. Right, we got we got Super Goku. Goku? Gohan. Super Gohan. Saiyan Gohan. Super Gohan. Uh, as you can see, I don't know anything about uh, <laughs> I, Dragon I Ball Z. I watched a lot of DBZ. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I mean, I it was it was on. Uh, I, I, I was a manager at a video store oh. whenever it was really big in, like, the late 90s, early 80s. Or late 90s, uh, early 2000s. And it was always on plan. See, I used to really watch big. it after school was out. Well, I wasn't in school, but my ex-brother-in-law would get off school me him and my ex-father and i would sit around and watch it together <laughs> nice and this is another uh i know nothing about see i don't uh, know much attack about attack on titan. titan i do know that it's an it's a is a manga i okay. believe it's a manga okay and that's where it comes from i thought I just, it was a video game i just didn't know enough about it so i kind of looked a okay. little more into it. i'm pretty sure it's a manga i think that's the word you it's an anime i don't yeah. want to call it anime if man, manga's a book well anime see, but, is a video but see isn't 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 Dragon Ball Z nope, kind of manga? Dragon Ball Z is a TV show. It's a video that makes it anime. Okay. Okay. And I think that's okay. the distinction between okay. it. I'm pretty sure that's okay. the distinction. I'm okay. sorry, anime enough, and manga we're not, we're fans. Not, I'm not. We're not, not, uh... not bashing <laughs> it at all. It just wasn't my wasn't my thing. I watch DBZ. I know that's an anime because I was okay. into anime for a little bit. Manga. I'm pretty sure it's book form. Sorry to be rambling about this. <laughs> all right. And so we have uh, Pink Ranger. And uh, is this is this movie or is this TV movie. show? That's the movie. This is the movie. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. And she's got a hole in her head. It looks like maybe she has a she ponytail. Is... Oh, yeah. Gotcha. So I got to bring you the accessories still. Oh, cool, cool, cool. No worries, man. No worries. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's to represent for the uh, the contest we got going here. So yeah. You got some we got we got man. we got to make sure that we're uh, up with every every line they could possibly throw at us now i don't have a my little pony but i'm gonna work on that and now you know the deal on this was 
if you win it, we're sharing it every other month. We got to give course, it back and forth. And if course, I win it, yeah. you know, same thing. You know, share one month, you get it. One month, I get it. <laughs> I figure that's the fair way since we're doing the trade on the figures. Like, like, like a trophy. Like a trophy. <laughs> yeah, like a trophy. Yeah, you have yeah. it for a month. I'll take it for a month. Yeah. <laughs> Don't scuff that proto. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, that's so, all we got for the uh, little subjects there. Mm -hmm. You got anything to add? Or? Nope. I. Uh, uh, oh, I know what I was going to I do have something else to add for the TLS report. Okay. If you haven't read the article that was uh, put up on Facebook about the loyal subjects, you, mm. the, the, the newspaper news article, you must read it because it's good read. tells a little history about stuff. It tells all about news the upcoming stuff. It talks about the new, yeah, new 7 ABC, yeah. I think it was. talks about the new lines coming out and shows the release months for this year. Really excited to see a 90s Nickelodeon splat line coming out. My my fiance went nuts when I told her. She's like, I want them all. <laughs> all real monsters. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, I, I, well, I didn't say exactly what it was going to be, but splat did yeah, consist of I mean, like, uh, was it Hey Arnold and uh, Rock Was Modern Life? Uh like you said, Ario Monsters. Ario Monsters. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff. Uh, it was a Doug. Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers. Was Doug on that? Yeah, Doug was part Doug of that, I'm pretty was sure. on that. Rugrats, maybe. Rugrats, yeah. See, that kind of stuff. Oh, man, that's that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, my girl, it's right up my old lady's alley, yeah. so she's all all about that. But, yeah, it showed a bunch of the, all the stuff coming out, like the Ghostbusters and the Predator, <laughs> uh, the WWE, all the different stuff. So, yeah, definitely check that article out, man. Definitely worth the read, man. I'm so, you know what? I know a lot of people are just so done with Ghostbusters right now, but I am so excited about this Ghostbuster line. Definitely. I, I can it, I can never buy enough Ghostbusters. And all stuff. we've all I've seen the pictures of is Slimer and the four Ghostbusters. What else is in the line, right? man? What are the chases, man? I'm what really are, hoping that they're so gonna cool. have the real Ghostbusters like as a variant. That would be cool. Like I, what, like they're doing with like the Target Walmart yeah, and Walgreens each Yeah, have, and kind of have it really where cool. like, you know, uh, you know, Hot Topic might have like a the real Ghostbusters Egon or something like that. Dude, right, I would right. go oh, balls man, out go on nuts. that. Nuts. I'd, I'd, I'd have to get both sets. <laughs> you Hell know yeah, what I mean? Dude. That would be. Hell yeah, man. That I'm would down, be awesome. Because then you could have that. like a Sam <clears throat> Hain and a Sandman. And then you could have like Gozer and the little dogs and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Or Zool. I mean, Zool and Zool. the dogs and stuff. Zool, yeah, then yeah. you could have them. Yeah, yeah. And so you could have the two different. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Gozer, that, we, look, Gozer is what you're looking for. Gozer. I said Gozer and then Zool. Oh, okay. okay. Zool. Zool's yeah, the big bad. Yeah, yeah, Zooli, yeah, Zooli, yeah, Zooli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have more updates throughout the Definitely. week. Definitely. Uh, we're going to be starting. Uh, we're we are we're loyal subjects heads. So yeah, we've gotten quite uh, into loyal subjects, man. So I, was, we, I still collect other toy lines, yeah, like vintage stuff too. And we're very much into the loyal vintage subjects stuff, lines yeah. are right up our line, are right up our alley with the different lines they're putting out, man. So perfect stuff, man. Definitely keep it coming, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's all we got for the Loyal Subject Report. Uh, anything else to add toy-wise? No. Nope. Next episode, we will be on location for an event, man. We got, I believe his name was, oh, something Weed. Walter? Walter Weed? Was that his name? <laughs> Breaking Bad? Or... No, not Walter. <laughs> Why, that's Walter White, that's not Walter, Walter Weed. <laughs> well, he dealt with Weed. The guy played the Predator in Predator 2, man, the Danny Glover Predator, the guy in that suit. Is oh, going okay. to be doing signings at a friend of mine's shop down in uh, Southern Illinois here. So we're going to take a trip beyond location. Oh, yeah, man. We're going to interview Mickey that owns the shop. We're going to show some of his shop. Hopefully we even get to interview his guests that day, man. And we're going to start covering more events down in his shop, too. So next episode is going to be fun. It's going to be... What's the name of his shop? Ah, Primary Colors Retro Relics in Lincoln, Illinois. Look them up on Facebook. Check them out, man. They got some good stuff. Good deals. Mickey's a good, fair guy. Good buddy. Check them out, man. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to have David Purdue with us again next weekend, too, so we'll be on the road having some recording fun. Awesome. Might even have Mr. Dave Hertz again, one half of the Brothers Hertz. Maybe we can get Doug to come, too, Mr. Douglas B. Collecting. <laughs> all right, guys, I think that's all, right. all we got. You might see some more stuff uh, I'll add on after this. We've got some video footage of you still from previous and footage yep. I've got recorded previous. So, All right, guys, we'll see you next time. All right. Peace. Hang loose. All right, hey guys, back here at home. I'm going to show off some of my favorite parts of my collection here. This is a line from the early 80s, I believe 82, called Arco the Other World. A lot of you guys probably heard of Arco before. They were a toy line, a toy company that went out, I think it was the 80s, maybe late 80s. They were around 60s, 70s, maybe even earlier. I don't know the history of Arco that much. I just know that these were my first action figures I ever had, and they're some of my favorites. They're bendies. In fact... This guy here is my original figure. 
I know because he's the only one I have whose arms don't bend still. <laughs> the wires are broken there, but his legs still bend. But I had hours and hours of fun with these guys. Just to come out to the side here, but show off some of the ones I got here. I got the contrary bird with Ronin. He's a pretty cool figure. Kind of like your He-Man kind of sort of Conan-esque. They all have weapons that glow. were all glow in the dark. Pretty crazy. The bird even has bendable wings. You can pose them. Pretty cool stuff. It's got a little saddle they sit on. You got things like this guy here. Big two-headed dragon with a saddle and reins. This is uh, Rady, King Rady. He's one of the other good guy main figures. Pretty wild stuff, man. Love these guys. Rady's the one I showed you that was mine when I had a kid also, but that's not my original. Frogacuda, one of my favorite figures out of this. Look at this guy. Part frog, part barracuda. Frogacuda. <laughs> Gotta love him, man. Crazy, crazy stuff. Then they had cool guys like this guy here. Hondu. Eh, nice little demon looking guy. Crazy. If you look closer, he's got little teeth like necklace. Crazy looking guys. Very sci-fi-esque. Land of the Giants. Lost World crazy stuff. Not Jurassic Park. This guy here, Hondu, man. One of my favorites. The four-armed guy. <laughs> These guys were nuts. His little arm hands with circles in there. Little holsters. You can put the weapons in there all slid in. You got maces and crazy ninja-looking weapons. Spears. All kinds of swords. There's one of my figures that had a shield. I don't know where the shield went. I must have dropped it on my way out here. Crazy, crazy figures. You got this guy here, a wolfman looking guy. Let me get closer on. He's got crazy, crazy detail on these guys. For bendies, they're not bad. Oh, for me, I love these guys. One of my favorite toy lines. Trying to get some more. I'll be getting some more in here soon. I'll show you guys in the opening video when I get them. And you have these guys here, little gyps. Like little goblin looking guys, but they were good. Gyps were the good guys, little orange ones. And you have them. The mogs, little purple bad guys. Pretty crazy, man. Some of my favorite stuff. I tell ya, I can't check them out if you've never seen them. They also have mini comics that came with them. They got a little artwork in there, a little scroll part that tells about them. In the back, it shows other line, other figures in the line. Some of them I don't have. There, most of those I do. I don't have the the chick in there, and I don't have the two up over here. The two rides. Yeah, they're pretty wild, man. Some of my favorite stuff. Check them out. Get into them. They're freaking cool. I got some other ones coming. They got a castle, but it's, that's a little out of my price range at the moment. Eventually, someday, I'd like to have it. One of my other favorite toys from when I was a kid. Like I said, these are my first action figures. This is my first deluxe action figure. I believe this is Galoob. I know it was uh, Deke Entertainment. Dick, Deke. D-I-C, we all know it. 1983, this guy was freaking sweet, man. He had, boom, look at that. He can shoot off his head. He's got go-go gadget neck. Mine's missing his right arm, so we can't go-go gadget that arm, but we can do this one. Oh, let me get him in there. See, it doesn't go out much, but it does. The legs. Crazy figure, definitely a crazy figure, but he had awesome accessories too. Let me put his feet back down here. Awesome accessories. I'm missing the helicopter accessory with the handlebars for it, but I got this here, the crazy hand with the mallet. Check that out. Also an umbrella that the hand can hold. He also had a pair of handlebars that went on his head with the... I got the helicopter blades. I'm missing the handlebars for it. The blades are on top of my shelf still. I didn't grab those down. But yeah, the blades and the handlebars you could attach to his head there so he could fly around. I wish he had the go-go gadget skates. Or maybe you could pull his little thumb and an antenna would come out. But he's one of my all-time favorite memories going across country with my parents. They bought me this before we went to Pennsylvania when I was four years old. Loved this thing. Broke it and they threw it away on me. <laughs> but I've been piecing this one together from a couple other ones I've gotten. To help my buddy Lenny Allen and my buddy Hatch. You all know Hatch. Y'all meet Lenny one of these days, too. He'll be in a video eventually here. But yeah, I got to get another, find another Junker one with the right arm. It's good so I can fix this one up and then just find the handlebars and I'll have a complete piece of my childhood again. But this is close enough and it's good enough for me. Hell yeah. 
Got a couple other pieces I'm gonna show you here. One I got in a trade from Hatch. I got a mail haul here box to open up, and I got another piece I got mail haul I'm gonna show. I haven't shown off yet. Got this a week or so ago from Hatch. Dragon Riders of the Sticks. Love it, man. Carded figure. Oh, cards in decent shape. Love the artwork on there. Look at that artwork. So cool. Has the actual original uh, Toys R Us sticker on there. It says 66 cents. <laughs> 68 cents, I think. Insane. It was on a sale, though, but yeah, still insane. Look at the pictures on the back of the other figures. Bright, cool pictures, too, man. Actual photos, not like printings or drawings. Really cool guys, man. They had the articulation from, like, the at the knees like G.I. Joe, but the rest of them were like a Star Wars figure. Really cool. Comes with a little whip and a dagger. Let me get close and check them out. Little blue demon guy, man. He's so cool. His name is... Totally escaping my mind here. Ghoulies the Ogre. Nice. Kick-ass figure. Hatch, you rock for hooking me up with this. I love these figures. Gotta get more of these and to find one carded, man. That's amazing. I really appreciate it, my brother. This year, man, I've been talking about Silverhawks and building the collection. I picked up. I said I wasn't going to get the ultrasonic suits. I got a steal on this steel wheel. Steel wheel ultrasonic suit carded. Card got a little beat up in the mail. I was a little bummed because the box was a little thin that it was in. wasn't packed very well. But it's in amazing shape, and I've got an awesome piece to add to my Silverhawks collection, which I will be showing you guys this again soon when me and Hatch do the episode where we sit down and show off my actual Silverhawks collection. But, uh, yeah, this guy's cool, man. He's got the sparking action. <laughs> Good old 80s toys that sparked. wonder why kids started things on fire. <laughs> but it lights up the little emblem on his chest there. He's got some crazy wings that shoot out that are all metallic looking. They're not the soft ones. He's got a visor helmet that comes down over his face like they actually did in the show. He's got this crazy, crazy cannon. <laughs> Big green cannon. Looks like something off Transformers. But yeah, this is kick-ass. You get the nice artwork. Not artwork, but I mean uh, pictures of the other stuff coming up. Or coming out from that line. Check that Mirage out. I want one of those so bad. Yeah, you can see the crease on the card back there from the mail. Thanks very much. I got my tally off big one coming on the way there, like you see in the picture. I got the other two already, but yeah, you see how some of the figures there that I've got almost all those figures pictured. We'll be showing those off soon, too. Now, onto the box. I've been waiting to open this. Figure I'd open it on uh, camera here. Let you guys check out what I got. This is something I couldn't pass up, so figure I'd, I'd buy it. Not all of it's to keep. I like to do some online auctions and get people some cool stuff for good prices. So some of this goes to auction, but this is, I might keep some of this stuff because these are pretty freaking cool. Oh, packing peanuts. You got to love packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts. <laughs> oh, just dump them on the table here, I guess. Get them out of the way. There we go. Alright, we got, well at least these are packed very well, I don't worry about any broken figures, the vintage Black Star figures, check that guy, he's a little beat, but here's one of them, let me stick this over here, let's see, I know I got some of the demons here, but I'm looking for more of the figures to show off, not the little demons. So, as you can take to the bigger packagings here. See, I don't know a lot about Blackstar. Ooh, we got one here. Oh, no flint in it, but he still has the whole entire back piece. See, some of them had sparkers on the back there. This one's actually got the whole piece. He doesn't have his wings, though. You're supposed to be able to flick that and it would spark. This guy's flint is out. Cool figure, man. Cool. Blackstar is something I never had myself. But they were wicked cool figures. I remember seeing them on the shelf. I was into the He-Man too much more, so I didn't go with the Black Star at all. Oh, here we go, another. This is pretty much a villain's lot here, a Black Star. Yeah, check out that there. Oh, yeah. Cool figures, man. Really wish I would have had some of these when I was a kid now. <laughs> all right.
Well, somebody rigged this one up. Check this out. I see this little string hanging off his head here, and they pull out, and the head must have fallen off, so they rigged it up and kept on it. Crafty. Still a cool figure. Paint's in good shape on him. What do we have here? Some accessories, it looks like. What I'm looking for. Yeah. And, oh, we got more figures in here. Yep, there's another one. More Black Star figures. Ooh, the bird guy, he's got his backpack too. Check that out. I've never seen him with the backpack other than in pictures. <laughs> nice. There's a nice little villain's lot here. Got accessories. Oh, here's the wings for this guy. So this guy is doesn't spark. But he is complete, because I think, I believe, I have a weapon of his, too. Put the wings on. There you go. Look at that menacing foe. <laughs> These guys are cool, for sure. A piece of cloth that goes to somebody. I'm not sure who, if it does for sure. Oh, hey, we got this guy's helmet. That's nice. Check that out. Oh, yeah. There's more in this box. I see one more big figures, and they're all just little demons, I believe. Got a blue demon. Oh, man, these Black Star figures are wicked. I do have a, I have an actual Black Star. He's got his little cape on the shoulder and everything. I got it from Hatch. And a demon. And another demon. <laughs> oh, there we go. I did have another big. I thought I had another big pig coming out of here. Let's get to it. This guy is cool looking. Oh, and he's got his cape. Check that out. Nice. Toss a weapon in his hand, and bam. We got a nice Black Star figure there, too. Some good figures here, man. Not a bad lot for finding find it online. Well, on Evil Day. <laughs> Another demon. Only the one blue one, a few green ones. This looks like some kind of a base piece of sorts for him. Oh, I know this goes to uh, this guy, I believe. Straps across there. Another green demon. I got green demons coming out of the wazoo, guys. <laughs> Last one, and it's a green demon. Nice little black star lot, though. Definitely a couple cool figures here. Well, a lot of cool figures here. Some of them I don't see all the time. I mean, I know they're not rare, rare, but uh, some of them are ones I've never had, and I've had black star figures before. I'm buying lots here and there. Never had the sparking one of this. Never had this guy. Never had this guy with his stretchy head. No. <laughs> no, these guys are awesome, though, man. Never had the backpack for this guy, which is really kick-ass. And they're in pretty good shape. Most of them have really good paint. The one guy here, that one that had the bandolier strap and the removable helmet, he's got the most wear for all out of all of them. They're otherwise in good shape. This guy's got a little wear on the back. But having that cape like that is so sweet. So I'm thinking that the uh, purple cape goes to one of these other guys, but I don't know which one. I'm going to think it goes to this guy. Maybe. I don't know. But, awesome, man. Nice little lot here. Figure I'd show you out my newest haul. I said I have some crazy stuff here. I figured I'd show off to you guys some cool recent scores and stuff. Uh, looking looking forward to the event coming up this weekend here we're going to be going to. Check out the Facebook page for that. We got all kinds of info on there about it. Down at Primary Colors, Retro Relics, Lincoln, Illinois. Going to go see Mickey. We'll have Hatch with us. Uh, David Perdue will be with us. Possibly one or two of the Brothers Hurts might be with us. So, be a good time. All right, looking forward to it. And, uh... Let's check out a little video with me and David Hertz did uh, a week or so ago. All right, we'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.
guys, I'm in Peoria, Illinois at what's this? Northwoods Mall, <laughs> Peoria, Illinois. Just hit up the hot topic. I got my man Dave Hertz with me. One half of the brothers Hertz. The other one didn't come with us today. Found some hot topic, Masters of the Universe. About the last six. Got some Thundercat. Got some Mega Man. And just for Mr. Bean, I got Pony. Cause my come on, I don't collect them, but I gotta see what I can get. You never know. We'll see what we got here. Plus, they gave me the badass box. I got a box for these now. I'm going to open them. I'm going to show you what we got. Let's start for Mr. Jason Bean of the Loyal Subjects Group on there, online, on Facebook, with the My Little Pony. You inspire me, my man. You don't got to be a brony to be into the ponies. <laughs> I'm not one of them guys that watches the show and all that either, but I'll tell you what. They have some pretty cool figures from what I've been seeing, and they're hefty. What do we get here? Who do we got? I got a glory. Hey, is that a hefty pony or what, man? Wow. That's pretty cool. Look how heavy that is, man. That's got weight to it. All right. Well, I broke my pony cherry and bought a Loyal Subjects pony. Now there's not a toy line of Loyal Subjects I haven't bought yet. <laughs> All right. We'll stick that off to the side. Let's go with the Mega Man. I got two boxes of the Mega Man. Pulled them from different spots than last time, so hopefully I get something different here. Figure I'd head on the road. We got Dave out of the house today, so we came down to Peoria here to check this out. We might head over to Peek into a toy store. There's a Toys R Us right across the way over there. I see a Target down that way. I might be hitting those up too, see what we could find. All right, what do we got? Rip it. Mega Man time. Ooh. Nice, got a skull man. He is kick ass. Look at that guy. Badass. Love it. Nice job, guys. Well, subjects rock with their figures. Love it. I think this is our new segment here we're going to be doing on the uh, Chasing Plastic Show called the TLS Report. That's right. We're going to be opening them up, talking about news and stuff like that. Dave, thanks for prepping for me. TLS report. Be looking for that. It's going to be on every one of our episodes. What do we got here for another Mega Man pig? Ooh, I got a Sigma. I already got this guy, but he's cool still. Isn't that pretty badass? They are pretty cool. Cool, cool. I got one I didn't have. I got one I do have. That's all right. I'll trade that Sigma to somebody. I'm sure somebody's looking for him out there. All right. Let's go with the one Thundercat I bought, and we'll save the Masters all together. Six boxes of those bad boys. I'm excited to see what I pull. Alright. What do we got? We got a lion -o. Just a regular lion -o. So you know what I'm going to do? Dave ain't got no loyal subjects, so now he's got a lion man, to starting the collection for him. I like to do that, man. If I got one and my buddies are with me and they don't have any yet, I like to get them hooked on these. Masters. Masters. Yes. I haven't seen these in a hot topic in a minute. I was excited to find these guys. Let's see what we pull out of these. There's a couple I could use. Chase figures mostly, but you never know. This is one of my could use. A regular Manny Faces, man. Awesome. I needed this. I got the uh, Target one, but I didn't have this one. Nice. Excellent. Comes with his weapon. Yeah, badass. Sweet. Well, that saves me from having to buy it online or trade for it. I love opening them up and you pull one that you don't have. It's exciting. One that you're looking for. The thrill of the hunt. Uh, see, aren't they fun? Look at that. <laughs> They're neat, man. The articulation's awesome. Masters box, or er, yeah, blind box number two. All right, we got a Skeletor. Oh, yeah. I like this one. He's got the silver staff and stuff on his way. I actually customized the one that had that silver, for the silver top staff and silver sword. That's awesome. Loving it. What do we got in here? We got 
got a He-Man. Look at that. Aren't those cool? <laughs> you can't say they're not. I love them. I just love that they did Masters of the Universe. Well, a lot of what they do, but the Masters of the Universe is one of my all-time favorites. Come on, give me something. Don't worry, Chris Rodriguez. I know you're looking for some stuff. I'll be getting some more Thundercats here soon, but David Perdue wanted some He-Man, so I'm going to have some for him. Got a trap jaw. Wicked, aren't they? Like, check it out. He even comes with all the little pieces. The hook, the fucking claw, the gun. Totally kick-ass stuff, man. I love these guys. <coughs> All right. Come on, give me something. Stratos. Ooh, we're dropping a wing. We've got a Stratos there. Drop the wing, I'll find it later. It's not going far. Alright, last Masters blind box. Rip oh, into it. Just neat. I know, I love it. <laughs> so cool. Oh, rip into it there. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? A beast man. <laughs> nice. Guy, that is bad. Just him standing there. Beast man, guys. Check it out. Hell yeah. Not bad, man. Not bad. Alright, it's all I got. I got some hot cash for next time, that's for sure. To go with the ones I got at home. Gotta love it. Hot Topic was doing the uh, buy one regular price, get a, one of equal or lesser value for 30% off. So I went with it and bought went a little, a little subject crazy, but got that kick ass case. Look at that. That is awesome. Very cool. I've kind of become the case collector now, man. I got the Thundercats, I got Attack on Titan, I've got a Street Fighter one, now I got the Masters of the Universe one. I got like three Thundercats ones. I bought a lot of Thundercats cases, but that's awesome, man. All right, guys, well, thanks for checking in with us and uh, with the uh, TLS report for the first one here. We'll be doing one, like I said, every episode we'll be doing an update on what's coming out or what we've gotten recently, some trades of them. So just something fun to keep it with you guys in the Loyal Subjects group going, man, because I know you like watching our videos. Oh, I've got more coming. Well, thank you guys. We'll see you later.